Hi, I'm Robin Caddy. Welcome along to Book of the Week. After a slight hiatus, we're back with the ball rolling. And today it's rolling in quite fine style, even if I do say so myself. Robert Duano, rightly considered an icon by Taschen and included in their book series of the same name. You can get this book still for around about £10 online. And as per usual, we get several essays in English, French and German and a very generous selection of photographs. Here, Duano's work is presented in four sections. We get early photographs, the Second World War years, the mid-1940s to 1960, and 1960 to his death in 1994. Personally, I have always considered Duano to be at home in any discussion of the all-time photography greats. I would definitely place him at the same level of Elliot Erwitt and Henri Cartier-Bresson, and you've probably noticed that Erwitt is basically my favourite, so that's really saying something. And indeed, Duano's Wikipedia entry confidently proclaims him a pioneer of photojournalism alongside the aforementioned Henri Cartier-Bresson. One of the essays included helps us to understand what it must have been like in post-war Paris, citing the fact that there were 34 daily newspapers there. What a time to be a photographer. Duano could be considered a flaneur and said himself, Paris is a theatre where you book your seat by wasting time, and I'm still waiting. Thank you.
Le Basse de l'Hôtel de Ville, thought to have been a decisive moment, it has for some time been known that this photograph was in fact staged, but not in the way that I'd thought. Uh, Duano had observed the couple kissing moments before and simply asked if they would mind doing so again for the camera. He explained that it, nobody would take a photograph like this without asking as uh, the, the couple was bound to be you know, meeting in some kind of illicit way. These photographs uh, belong to a series uh, which is called Le Regard Oblique, a sidelong glance, and I would like us to consider the camera was hidden, the subjects didn't know they were being photographed, but we can see the results of repetition. One photograph here, shocking. The, uh, the, the repetition almost brings out a sense of humour, a sense of, uh, of us being in on the, the joke. Uh, it's, it's really quite a remarkable piece, and I think we should consider how to achieve this in our own work. And one final comment, uh, while I was looking for some uh, photographs to insert into this uh, book review from, from Google, I hunted high and high and low uh, on Google, many, many, many of his best photographs are displayed there and most of them are not in this book, by which I mean he had an incredibly successful career and produced many photographs and not just the result of taking photographs for many years. He was, as I've mentioned previously, one of the true greats.